What is going on guys? Nemesis here, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing this grand challenge right now. I'm currently 8-0 and, and I'm using P.E.K.K.A. Archers actually. I've been playing with this P.E.K.K.A. Archers variation for a little bit and honestly dude, I'm really liking it right now. Um, so yeah, just jumping into this first game. Let's see what we got here and I got Bandit, P.E.K.K.A., Electro Wizard, and Zap. Um, like I said, this is actually like my first GC of the day so uh, yeah, currently 8-0, and, and I'm just playtesting uh, archers because they are so strong right now. I believe they're really strong in this deck, in my opinion, and also Royal Giant. And honestly, I think this guy's Lava Hound from the Tombstone and the Guards. I kind of want to pack up the bridge, but uh, I think I'm just going to battle him to play it safe here. So, All right, he's got Flying Machine and the Skeleton King. So yeah, this is definitely Lava Hound. I know exactly what variation this is. And to be quite honest, I know this guy definitely has arrows now because this variation of Lava Hound carries arrows. Um, so yeah, let's see here. I have a pretty nice push coming down the lane and uh, let's see what he wants to do for this. He's going to go for Skeleton Dragons. I'm going to poison, maybe hit the Tombstone if he plays it as well. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. Wow, that is so good for me. And with that being said, I think he's back to guard, so he's probably going to have to play guards for this as well. Let's go. So, two of his good ground cards are out of rotation. So, what, what I want to do right now is I want to try to spam him like crazy. I'm just going to go for Archers right here. And probably like a battle ram in front of this. He's probably going to arrows this. Oh, uh, let's see. No, he goes for a Skeleton King and a Flying Machine. I'm just going to spam him like crazy here. And I think I'm going to take a zap on top of that Flying Machine. <clears throat> oh my gosh. That just shredded the flying machine like crazy. Wow, look at that. That's just like the best start you can ask for. That's honestly the best start you can ask for. Um. So yeah, let's just let's uh keep a good defense. He's gonna go for Hound in the back. I'm just gonna go for Ghost to potentially just take his tower. And he's still gonna defend his tower, which is pretty interesting, but um, it's all right. Let's see, I'm probably just gonna go for Ewas in the back corner right here. And like I said, I know for a fact this guy definitely has arrows because this variation plays it. So I gotta watch out for that. He's going to go for Skeleton Dragons. I'm going to go for Bandit right here to protect my Ewis. I'm going to go for Archers right here as well. Um, let's see here. Okay, he's going to go for Arrows right there. I'm going to go for a Royal Ghost. And probably a Zap as well. Perfect. Okay, he's going to go for a Skeleton King. I'm just going to go for Ewis on top of all these Lava Pups. Got to be really careful here. Go for Bandit right here. Go for Archers. Poison. He's gonna go for Skeleton Dragons, that's fine. I'm just gonna go for a Royal Ghost. Just keep up some pressure here. <clears throat> Let's see here. He's gonna go for a Fly Machine. I'm just gonna go for a Battle Ring right here. And I think I'm just gonna try to be really aggressive right here. Just go for a Poison, go for a Bandit here as well. And he's almost done for, so I just got to keep up the pressure so we can't build a big push. <clears throat> Zap that. Okay, he's going to do that. I'm just going to go for archers and immediately just poison. And that should be game number one against a really tough matchup, actually. But he didn't really play well in the beginning, so that's what got me the advantage. So, let's go. Go ahead and jump to the next game. Alright, we got our next game here against uh, Skeleton 1 Elixir. Um... I got Battle Ram, Poison, Archers, and Zap. He's going to go for an Archer split. I'll just mirror that. <clears throat> Let's see here. Maybe Expo? I'm going to go for Bandit here. He's got Log. Okay, he's got Monk as well, so definitely not Expo anymore. Um, probably just going to wait and just play a Ghost right here. Let's see, I think I'm going to go for a battle ram opposite lane because he probably has goblins, so I don't want to give him too much goblin value. Oh, he's got skeletons. Alright, and a cannon, so I don't really know what the, or what deck this is. I think I'm just going to go for a peck in the back because I feel like I have a decent elixir advantage here. And if he spams me, I just got archers, like the OP archers. <laughs> I'm going to go for Ewis on top of that. And see what this guy wants to do here. Gonna be chilling here. Look like I have a pretty good elixir advantage. Go for a banner right here. It's gonna go for skeletons. I'm gonna go for Zap. Okay. 
This is looking really good for me. He doesn't have skeletons, so he's gonna have to cannon this Pekka or something like that. Yeah, he gave up. Look at that. So good, honestly. So good. Um, really thankful for that. Really, really quick and easy win right there. And uh, yeah, honestly, super nice. Let's go ahead and jump to the next game. We got our next game here. Um, we got Poison, Archers, Electro Wizard, and Bandits. <clears throat> Let's see here. I think we're uh, 10 and 0 actually. So, he's gonna go for Battle Ram. Probably Pekka Mirror Match. Because Battle Ram isn't really seen in any other deck. Go for Pekka right here. Honestly, I thought he was gonna Magic Archer the Bridge. Because that's what people tend to do. So, yeah, this is definitely Pekka Mirror Match. Let's see what he wants to do here. Alright, he's gonna go for Pekka of his own. Totally fine here. Honestly, I'm not even worried about the defense right now because I have archers. They're super good against Pekka, so I'm just gonna go for archers right here, play Royal Ghost right here. And look, already a really clean defense there. And I'm just gonna counter push because he doesn't have Pekka in rotation and I already have like a ghost and archers on the field. I'm just gonna go for Bandit because he has no elixir. He just spent seven with the fireball plus the bandit. That should basically be game. Alright, he's gonna go for e -Wiz. I'm just gonna go for Zap to cycle and just to finish off the e a little bit quicker. And look at the tower. Look at the tower already. <clears throat> Let's see here. See what he wants to do. Um, I'm just gonna wait for him to be honest. Alright, he's gonna go for a bat rim in the back again. So I'm just gonna go for e -Wiz to match that. I don't want to go for a Pekka this time, but I think I'm just going to go for a Royal Ghost. Just in case he wants to do anything kind of shady here. I just want to play a little bit more passively. He's going to go for a Ghost in the back. That's fine. And let's see here. Alright, he's going to go for a Pekka at the bridge. Totally fine. I don't want to go for Archers right away because he might spam me off his lane. He's going to go for that. So that's all his Elixir right there. I know he can't play anything like a Bandit. So, perfect. Good defense right there. And it's basically a waiting game. I'm not even worried right now. I'm just going to take a zap on top of that bandit. So my bandit gets priority right there. And yeah. I'm probably just going to like split archers here too. Just to play some defense for the last 48 seconds. <laughs> He's going to do the same play with a battle ram in the back here. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to go for Pekka here. Let's see. Alright. He's going to do that. That's totally fine. Well, I was gonna go for like an Electro Wizard behind this Pekka right here. He's gonna go for his E-Wiz, so I'm just gonna poison that. Oof, he missed the Fireball too. I think I'm also just gonna Bandit High to predict his Bandit right now. Let's go! Oh my gosh. <clears throat> well, that still actually hits my E-Wiz a little bit, but it's fine. That's gonna be a really clean defense right then and there, so... Super solid game against the Pekka Mirror match. Honestly, my defenses are so good because of the archers, so it's hard for him to break through. And let's go ahead and jump to the next game. We're getting a next game here against Jonah. Got Poison, Bandit, Zap, and Archers. Let's see here. I'm just going to go for Bandit. He's going to go for Mortar first play. I'm actually going to let the Mortar connect and then go for Archers because um, if I let the Mortar connect to my Archers, the mortar would get a shot and then he could just probably like use a log on it if he has it so that would be really bad for me <clears throat> go for royal ghost here let's see what he has he doesn't have goblins in rotation i might just peck at the back maybe no okay so he's gonna go for a phoenix i'm just gonna go for a electro wizard right here okay he's got the poison i don't know what deck this is I do not know what deck this is. Hmm. I might just peck at the back now. Yeah. Because he didn't have goblins, so he had to play something like a heavier tank knowing that, so I could just peck at the back. I'm going to split my archers here a little bit. Oh, uh, let's see here. Alright. I should have probably zapped that a lot sooner, to be honest, because my archer would have survived and would do a lot more damage and stuff, so I think that was a misplay on my end. Let's see here. It's gonna go for Phoenix, too. I think it's gonna go for Elis again. 
if he poisons this, um, he's gonna be really low on elixir. So yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's go for a battle ram, I guess. Do something with this. Go for a bandit as well. Or right, he's gonna go for mortar plus. What does he got? He's got the skeleton king yet, so he's gonna go for mortar skeleton king. Let's see. He's gonna pop the ability as well. Totally fine by me. I might just peck at the back again because I have a pretty good elixir advantage. Let's see here. All right, he's gonna go for goblins over there. I'm just gonna go for royal ghost. Try to get a pretty big counter push here. Go for split archers right now. Probably go for a poison as well. Let's see here. He's gonna go for arrows. He's got arrows. Very interesting. Look at the ghost and the archer on the right hand lane though. Go for battle ram over here. We go for bandit as well. And what? Did this guy just give up or something, or did he lag out? I think he lagged out. No way he would have given up, because this matchup isn't even that good for me. Yeah, he definitely just lagged out. Wow. Um, even if he didn't lag out, I could probably still win it, because um, archers are kind of broken. But he's, like I said, he's got arrows, so I don't even know if I would have won it. I'm just thankful he lagged out, bro. <laughs> I'm just so thankful. So, yeah, that's going to be 12-0 right there. Uh, really, really good games. Archers are so good, guys. You need to try them. Uh, they're so good. And, uh, yeah, 12 and 0 right there. I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot, man. Get this screen- or, yeah, get the screenshot going right now. Let's pop this chest open, too. See what we got. I'm just gonna kind of skim through it a little bit. You know. And, uh, yeah, honestly, archers are so good, guys. I keep saying that time and time again, but I really do think that they could kind of fit in anything just because of how strong they are. They do so much DPS, so thank you guys so much for watching.